everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a chanel handbag unboxing i have this giant box right here with a bag that honestly i didn't think i'd be able to get it um i've been on the lookout for this at the stores but it seemed like they already received all that they were going to get and there wasn't going to be any more but when i was at the boutique um about a week and a half ago to pick up a different bag I just so happened to spot this and I just I had to get it there was no way I could just leave this at the store so essentially what happened was um I've been so this is a Chanel 19 I'll just get that out of the way because it kind of factors into the whole story which I do want your opinion at the end of the story because there was this kind of weird thing that happened and I want to ask you guys if it was just me or would you guys feel the same way in that situation so anyways I've been kind of like looking at Chanel 19s a lot recently so I was at the boutique picking up a different bag which if you guys want to see that unboxing I'll leave that up here for you guys so I just asked my sales associate if there were any Chanel 19s that I could look at and basically she opened up this cabinet with a bunch of Chanel 19s in there and she was listing the colors and she listed um, this color that she called brown. Um, I think this is going to be very apparent what this bag is at this point. So she said there was this brown one and um, I was kind of like looking from behind her and to me the bag looked beige. I was like brown? Does she mean beige? I mean you know like it could be just different people call it different things so i was like huh that's a little bit strange and i saw that the bag had gold hardware and i thought that the beige um chanel 19 that is in the current collection had silver hardware so i was like huh that's a little bit strange why does it have gold hardware so i just asked her to take it out anyways along with this other one which was pink so i was looking at both of them um and then as i was looking at this one that i thought was beige i thought wait a second this is actually not beige this is the caramel color so i was so shocked that it was still there because it was um in like a slightly earlier collection at this point i had asked someone from a different boutique to let me know if they ever received it and i never got any response so i kind of thought okay like i'm pretty sure that a lot of people want this bag so probably it's been sold out already so i thought okay time to move on look for something else but yeah i was like wait a second this is actually the caramel brown color if i could just open this up so i was so surprised that this was there um it looked beige to me in the dark cabinet but once it was out in the opening it is this gorgeous caramel brown color and i'm just like so happy that i found it and here's the weird story so as i mentioned um i had wanted to take a look at both this one and also the light pink one and the funny thing was there was this other sales associate that was um also there and um basically as i was trying this on by the mirror she came up to me and she was like oh can i take a photo of this bag and i was like oh yeah sure right it was it was a little bit weird i was like okay like how about i put this down and you can take whatever photos you want so she told she actually took a photo of the bag as i was wearing it my face wasn't in it or anything um and then eventually i put it down and um she came by and she was like oh the brown one is nice but the light pink one is so pretty um and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try that on too. Um, eventually, she did take some photos of this bag while she was, you know, like by where I was standing. And she, I, I assume she sent it to her client. Um, that was just like a strange interaction. I kind of thought, hmm, maybe she wants me to pass on this bag so she could offer it to someone else. And then um, a little bit later on, she, she actually came back and she said something very similar to that. She was like, the pink one is so gorgeous. Um, yeah, I don't exactly remember the exact word she said, but it was like something along those lines. And I'm like, hmm, I feel like she's definitely trying to kind of like push me towards a certain direction with my decision. Um, so yeah, I thought that was like a little bit weird. Um, and 
Actually, when I decided that I was going to get this bag, the sales associate that was helping me was like, actually, I think there might be two of them. Let me see if there's another one in the back. So the one that I ended up getting was like a fresh one from the back. And it was just so strange to me because instead of trying to get me to not purchase it, um, if she had checked on her phone, she could have seen that there was two of them. So I kind of found it funny that she was trying so hard to dissuade me from getting this when there was another one this whole time anyways um so this is actually my first chanel 19 let me show you guys some of the details on this bag really quickly and as i'm unwrapping this i wanted to let you guys know there's actually this kind of funny thread on the purse form if you guys are um, familiar with the purse form it's basically this forum that is kind of dedicated to um people who love purses bags and all other um designer accessories they can go to that forum and basically like chat about a bunch of different um brands there was this person who basically did some crazy things to their chanel 19 and it basically proved that it is so super sturdy i think she um sprayed like degreaser on it and also wiped it with Clorox wipes as well as um, acetone and the bag was still perfectly fine and I just found that so completely hilarious that this bag basically survived so many things <laughs> so I can imagine that this is going to be so sturdy because you know like it could go through all these things what's a little bit of water what's a little bit of rain right and this bag i do intend to be kind of like an everyday bag for me because here's the thing so i have my um louis vuitton neverfold that recently i've been so busy and that's the bag that is kind of like my grab and go bag so usually i keep that by the entrance to my home and basically it has um all my things in it anything that i could possibly need to take with me for the day i keep it in that bag and basically if i don't have time to swap out of that bag to something else i just grab that and head out the door so the thing is i don't really like using that bag <laughs> to be honest it's just really heavy and i find myself just complaining about the weight of that bag on my shoulder um, as I'm using it. So I don't really like using that bag, but um, you know, it just so turns out that it's convenient. And basically I'm hoping that the Chanel 19 could kind of replace that for me. Um, I basically have some bigger um, SLGs in my Neverfull. And if I use smaller bags, I have to like switch to a smaller card holder and everything like that. And yeah, as I mentioned, sometimes I just don't have the time for that in the mornings. So I'm thinking that this bag actually would fit those larger SLGs of mine. So instead of just having it kept in my Neverfull, I could maybe just keep it in the Chanel 19, leave this by the entrance to my home. And this could be the bag that I grab um, if I'm in a hurry to head out the door. I mean, it's there's so many similarities between two of these bags just because of how kind of like carefree they are and also the color is very similar and whatnot. So I think this could kind of replace the Neverfull and I feel like I would enjoy using this bag a lot more because it does look prettier. So that's what I'm thinking for this bag. Um, that's why I was on the hunt for one. And that's also why even though I saw that light pink one at the store and the light pink one was really pretty, I was not considering that one over this one just because, you know, the light pink would not be um, as easy to match as this one. This is a neutral color. That one is definitely more of like a girly color, which it looks nice on the Chanel 19, but I feel like it's a little bit limiting. So anyways, I just think this is perfect. The black one also would be really nice, but I've been trying to stay away from black bags because I think I do have enough of them. So yeah, that took a long time to unwrap this, but here it is now. So you do have this um, Chanel 19 logo here, which is this kind of like oversized cc logo and then there is a turn lock and on the inside there is this one big compartment here and then there's also the zipper compartment in the back and then at the very back of the bag 
you do have this um, pocket right here that's very useful. I just realized I forgot to take off um, this tissue paper here. It's so hard to unwrap, so I think I'm going to just leave that be for now. And the last thing I want to do in this video is compare the color of this caramel brown on the Chanel 19 to the other um, caramel brown bag that I have from Chanel. It's in the same color code, but even though it's in the same color code, sometimes the color varies from season to season. So actually I haven't compared this side by side before. This is the first time I'm doing it. So I do have um, the classic flap in the medium size in the same color and let me see. Okay, as I suspected, I think this one does seem to be like a little bit more brown and this one looks a little bit more orangey to me. Let me just see. Uh, I think I'm right. Yeah, this one has a little bit more of like a chocolate brown type of color to it. I mean, this is not a chocolate brown whatsoever, but it has, it leans a little bit more towards that color. And this one looks like a little bit more orangey to me, like a little more pumpkin spice. This is what the two of them look like together. I hope that helps you guys out if you're, you know, trying to compare colors of this caramel brown color that is coming out in so many seasons. So this one is from the 22S collection. This one is from the 22A collection. And I believe this Chanel 19 in this color is going to be back for the 23C collection, I believe. And I think they're also going to bring this color back in the boy bag style too. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Let me know what do you guys think of this caramel brown color? And also what do you guys think of the Chanel 19 bag? I know it's been out for a while and Chanel does have a new it bag, which is their 22 bag, but it took me a while to really get on board with this bag. But now I finally think that I do appreciate it for what it is. And you know, if it's no longer trendy, who really cares, right? I think this looks really, really pretty. And I have a feeling that it's going to serve a really good purpose in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.